What's up guys? Today's workout is an ab workout with an exercise ball like you see over there. Today I'm going to show you all my favorite exercises to really strengthen up your core using an exercise stability ball. Now what the stability ball does for you is it just gives you the ability to have a larger range of motion. So what that means is instead of doing a crunch where you're laying on the floor and you can only go back down to the floor, the exercise ball is going to allow you to go backwards. It's going to be able to really hit all of those areas that we as women want to tighten up in our core and make stronger. So I hope that you enjoy this video. If you do, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any workouts or tips with me. The first move that is my favorite using the stability ball is a decline push up and you'll slide onto the ball. You want it on your shins and you don't want to be putting pressure on your knees here. You really want to squeeze from your core and using your chest and your back. Everything is working in this workout. That's why I love it. It's not just a great core workout. It's a great whole body exercise and it's really going to challenge your overall fitness, which is what I love about it. And the next move is a reverse crunch. I'm going to do three sets of these, 20 each, and I am laying on the ball. I have a squishy mat underneath my knees, and I'm going to squeeze up and go backwards. I am not pressing with my hands on my neck. As you can see, I have them up to the sides of my temples, but I'm not pressing on my neck. I'm just going to squeeze my core and go backwards. You don't want to overextend your spine here. You don't ever want to take your spine out of a neutral stance. You just want to go up far enough that you really feel that tension in your core and in your back muscles. This is also going to give you a great glute and quad workout as well. Then I'm going to go into some reverse oblique crunches. You guys know I love to work my obliques. So those are my favorite workouts. I'm just going to go side to side here. I'm trying not to swing. This is a very controlled movement. Again, having the squishy mat underneath your knees, this is really going to challenge your <laughs> oblique muscles as well as your glutes and your thighs. That's what I like about all of these movements. All of my favorite movements are compound exercises. You can see that wore me out. I was like, I'm done with this one. Then we're going to go into a oblique crunch. I'm going to do two sets of each. 15 on each side and I did use a weight here to kind of give me some extra resistance This was definitely a balancing act for me If you are new to doing these workouts, you might want to go up against the wall All right, this is an incline press. I'm just using a 10 pound dumbbell here I'm sitting so that I have my core engaged on this ball. <clears throat> this is working You'll feel this in your hip flexors as well as your core use a weight that's manageable But that does challenge you and I am just pushing these straight up all right and then this is one of my all-time favorite movements it's a figure eight so you're going to do this like you are rowing a boat with your weight I have a 10 here because that is manageable for me but it still challenges me as you can see um, and you're just going to take it down to the sides row and row to the sides and this is going to hit all angles of your core not just the front abdominals but your obliques as well and you're also going to get a great arm workout while you do this and then I had to throw some traditional crunches in there. I do three sets of these, 15 each. Um, this is, you know, a traditional crunch, obviously. I don't have to tell you guys how to do this. You do want to make sure that you are not swinging when you do this and really squeeze your core as you're coming all the way up. You don't have to come all the way up on this movement. I like to. Um, it really helps to hit that lower abdominal area that a lot of people have trouble with. And then fire hydrants. I like this one again. It is a compound muscle movement. I am putting one hand on the stability ball to make me have more challenge in my balance. So that's going to challenge your overall fitness. You're going to get a better workout. You're going to burn more calories. So the more challenging it is to balance, the more calories you're going to burn because your body has to really think about it. And the fire hydrants, your leg is just going to come up to the side. You're working your glutes here. You're working your abs. You're working your back. And you're working your entire body because you're trying to balance using the stability ball. 
And then the bridge and hip lifts, I do three sets of these, 15 each. Mm -hmm. And I really like this one, again, compound muscle group. So you're working your whole body, not just your core, but you are using your core as you squeeze to come up to keep your balance here. You wanna make sure that you keep your shoulders on the ground when you do this. Press through your palms to have extra help with balance and really squeezing your abs, your glutes, your legs, everything is working in this movement and make sure you breathe read through this one as well. Okay, I hope you guys like workout. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe.